Hi, everybody, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. Happy Easter, everyone. Hope everybody's okay. Um, on our prayer requests, Lena's surgery went well. She won't know if they've got it all uh, for 9 to 10 days. Pray that she won't need any further surgery. Um, pray for Lynette and her family. Her brother passed away. Kathy's niece's husband, Ernie, did a good job did good in his open heart surgery pray he'll recover quickly and get better diane clark's granddaughter valerie is feeling a lot better she had a mild case of covid she'll be going back to school monday pray for maria's sister joanne she has covid now and she had covid now she has lymphoma pray she gets good results on her body scan and for me at the doctor thursday they removed a it was either a mole or a tag, and they sent it off uh, to check it, I guess, for cancer. And they said they didn't like the looks of it or something like that. Uh, Lisa's back is doing better now. She says thanks for the prayers. And Carol Johnson's granddaughter, Capri, has the flu. Pray she'll feel better soon. Also, Jackie Howard is very iron deficient and anemic. She needs to have IV iron infusions. Pray that they will help. Our scripture today comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 12 through 26. But if it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and, useless, and so is your faith. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testified about God that he raised Christ from the dead. But he did not raise him, in fact, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is fertile, futile. And you still in your and you are still in your sins, then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in turn, Christ the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him, then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Okay. Now our devotion today. Oops. I got this thing a little crooked or something. Our devotion today is entitled This Changes Everything. Gerald Slav Pelican, longtime Yale professor, considered one of his generations preeminent authorities on Christian history, was renowned for his extensive academic career. He published more than 30 books and won the esteemed Klug Prize as Lifetime Award for his voluminous writing. One of his students, however, recounted what he considered his teacher's most important words spoken from his deathbed. If Christ is risen, nothing else matters, and if Christ is not, nothing else matters. Pelican echoed Paul's conviction, if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. The apostle made such a bold statement because he knew that the resurrection was not merely a one-off miracle, but rather the pinnacle of God's redeeming work in human history. The promise of resurrection wasn't only his assurance that Jesus would rise from the dead, but his bold affirmation that other dead and ruined things, lives, neighborhoods, relationships, 
would also one day be brought back to life through Christ. If there's no resurrection, however, Paul knew that we're in deep trouble. If there's no resurrection, then death and destruction win. But of course, Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. Destroyed by the victor, death loses. And Jesus is the first fruits of all the life that will follow. He conquered evil and death so that we could live bold and free. This changes everything. What difference does it make to understand the expansive hope of Jesus' resurrection? Where do you need resurrection in your life? God, allow me to see how Jesus' resurrection changes everything about my life now and forever. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. And please help this war in Ukraine to end. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I would like you to press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great Easter with their families and a good time. And I'll see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.